I know what you just watched was very painful, but it would have been much more painful if I hadn't caught it on camera. I would have been screwed if A, I didn't catch it on camera, and B, the person who hit my Supra took off or said a different story or whatever the circumstances were luckily it was caught on camera the reality is there's not cameras readily available everywhere you go you could be driving on the freeway and something happened and if you don't have a camera you're shit out of luck pardon my french that is why today we're going to be taking a look at four different dash cams that i would recommend to any car guy or any person who drives a car in general. Whether you want to protect your property or just capture some cool clips, having a dash cam is a necessity, especially in today's day and age where people are always trying to screw over others. How many times have you seen a clip of somebody jumping on the hood of a vehicle trying to claim that they hit them or someone gets backed up into in a parking lot and the guy drives off? Now imagine how many times you haven't seen those instances because the people didn't have a dash cam. With Christmas right around the corner, I thought it would be a good idea to cover some potential gifts such as dash cams. And we'll just take a look at a few here today and see which one fits you or whoever you're buying it for best. Let's head inside and let me show you guys what I got. The first dash cam we will look at is the M300. This is the perfect beginner's choice if it's your first dash cam. The M300 is perfect for people who pursue a super affordable and compact entry level dash cam. Compared to the other dash cams, this one is the sleekest, comes with everything you need in the box, and it's great if you just want a simple dash cam. Next up is the A500S dash cam. This one has the rear cam bundle, so not only do you have the front facing camera, you obviously also get the rear facing camera with this bundle. This is the world's best selling dual channel dash cam, over 500,000 drivers globally trust its unmatched value every year. If you're not sure which dash cam is good for you or is right, this is the go-to. Next up, we have the 4K A810 dash cam. This is a 4K dash cam with a rear facing camera bundle. This is their latest 4K flagship dash cam with Sony Starvis 2 IMX678 sensor. It provides extreme clarity and with that extreme security. Last but not least, we have the first ever 360 degrees rotating dash cam. This is their Omni dash cam. This dash cam is currently setting a new standard in design and vision. This dash cam has AI based functions, rotating lenses, extreme night vision, etc. Now, luckily, we got plenty of dash cams for most of my vehicles, but I'm trying to find the best one to fit my truck since that is more or less my daily driver and the one that is parked out on the street. We need a solid dash cam setup for that in case anything happens. I want to make sure we're covered. So, we'll be testing all of these dash cams on my brand new 2023 GMC Canyon AT4. All right, so we're in the AT4, and the first one we're going to start out with is the M300. So this is the entry-level camera. It's nice and compact, which I really like, so it's not going to take up a lot of your visibility. But on top of that, it looks really simple to set up, so let's get to it. But I'm going to just try to utilize the USB port that is right here. That way, I don't have to use the cigarette lighter. So let's see if that works. Let me try to plug it in with one hand here. Okay. Oh, I see power. Shomai is turned on. Please connect to your mobile phone to activate it. All right, let me connect it to my phone and then we'll get started. While the app is downloading, we can go ahead and install the electrostatic sticker. I know you guys can't see it, but uh, there is a sticker that comes with the M300. You stick this to the windshield and then you stick your camera to it. You guys can't see it, but there's a sticker right here. Now we stick the camera to this. It has a little grid where to put it, so just follow the grid. See if I could do this with one hand. Actually, that looks literally perfect. First try. And see, from a driving perspective, it takes up very little room, which is one of the reasons why I like this one in particular. And then with the wire routed up and out of the way, definitely have some nice clear visibility. All right, we have the app downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and... Show my is turned on to your mobile phone to activate it. All right, we have the app downloaded. We're gonna go ahead and connect the device. All right, we just connected. Now let's open it up. So it teaches you some settings that you can access quickly with the power button. Shows you what different color lights mean. So we have normal recording, not in recording mode, or error if it's red. 
So just in order to test out and compare the cameras, I'm gonna set them all up side by side inside the truck. So when we go drive around and get footage, all footage will be around the same time of day and in the same locations. So let's set up the next one right here. So this one uses a different style mount um, and it will also just click into the camera and then it looks like you can slide up to release the camera. This one also has a rear facing camera. So we'll have to set that up as well and then hide the cables as necessary depending on your vehicle. So for this one, I'm going to put it to the left of the first dash cam. You can see the way this mount works is when it's clicked on, it'll look like that, but to release it, you just slide and then it will pop off. Obviously with one hand, it's a little difficult. She is going nowhere. Then you can simply adjust the camera, super simple. And then once you get it set up in the app, you can set it exactly how you want it. So this kit comes with two different cables. You have one cable that has a connection like this. This is for your rear facing camera. And then you have your other cable, which simply is just a power cable. Setting up the rear facing camera is just as easy. Just stick it on where you want it and then just run the cable and then set it up in the app. Next, we'll set up the 4K dash cam and the rear facing camera. It's gonna be the same exact procedure as the one we just did. So it's pretty straightforward. Simply attach the sticky mount to the camera and then find where you want it. I'm gonna space it out a little bit just for the testing. And right there looks pretty good to me. You can see there is a bit of a size difference between the Ultra HD and the 4K camera. The 4K camera is a bit bigger, but the buttons and the menus seem very similar. And these two compared to the first, both have a display. Now for the last one, we have the Omni Dash Cam. This one is still very similar, just with a sticky mount. I do gotta peel off all this nice, pretty plastic. So let me get this mounted for you guys. Now for testing, I'm gonna put it next to this one. Again, you would not use all four in your car unless you're really paranoid. But again, for testing, I will just put it over here. And there we go. We have all four dash cams installed. Now I'm gonna go into the app and set up each one and then route all of the wires for each one. And then we will finally test them out and see which one is the best for you guys. So here you can see with the Ultra HD one, I can easily just swivel the camera and it'll adjust the angle. Like I said, with this one, you get a screen compared to the basic version, which you don't. You can view it on your phone, but this one you get a screen so you know right away what you're viewing. And as you can see, we're recording in the top left. So now I have this one connected to my phone. I could take a photo if I really wanted to. As you can hear, it said it took a photo. Now I'm gonna set up the 4K one. All right, so we have the 4K dash camera installed. When you're connected to the app with this one, you can only use it on the app. It will not display there either. But if I disconnect, now you can see that you are clearly able to see it on the screen. And we are in fact recording right now. Lastly, let's set up the Omni camera. Please connect your app to activate the dash cam. All right, and just like that, the Omni dash cam is now installed. You can easily rotate it in the uh, app. And this one I was the most nervous about because just based on looks, I thought it was gonna be way more complex to set up, but it was actually super easy. All right, so now that we have all of them set up in the app and connected to the car, we're gonna drive around and one by one record with each camera and see the different qualities and the different features of each one. So here is the M300 dash cam footage. And I would say this is kind of what I think of when I think of just a typical dash cam video. It delivers excellent image quality with its 1296p resolution and 3D noise reduction technology and supports added security with parking surveillance mode as well as its time-lapse recording. Additionally, the M300 comes with a wider language and color options to meet our users' diverse preferences. Being an entry-level dash cam, I think this will check most of the boxes that you want, except it doesn't have a rear-facing camera, so there is no footage to show you of that. In the day and in the night, it looks pretty good, but as you'll see in a second, the rest kind of outshine it. Next up, we have the A500S dash cam. And this one, since it does have a higher resolution, being a peak resolution of 1944p, it provides a higher quality and crisper image since it is powered by the Sony IMX335 sensor that automatically adjusts exposure balance, captures clear and color accurate images. And with that peak resolutions, it is 2.5 times clearer than a standard 1080p. This one will capture critical details on the road, including license plates and road signs. So it's just one less thing to worry about in case you're ever in a bad situation. This dash cam has you covered. 
The two cameras cover up to 270 degrees FOV, eliminating common blind spots crucial for providing evidence of rear-end collisions. The A500S also provides superior vision at night and under bad weather, equipped with its 3D DNR that removes image noise and WDR that adjusts exposure balance, which work together to maximize video performance under different lighting conditions. It's clear to see that this one does capture crisper images and video at night, which makes sense because it is the best-selling dual dash cam setup. So like I said, if you're on the fence, the A500S is a solid option. Next up, we got the big boys. We got the 4K A810. This is the 4K camera, obviously, and it provides Ultra HD 4K resolution powered by Sony's best-in-class image sensor, the Starvis 2 IMX687. This will capture license plates and other evidence with extreme clarity. This camera also uses exclusive image technology, my color, Vivid Plus Solutions MVS, further optimizes footage quality in terms of exposure balance, color accurateness, the stability, especially under complex lighting environments. Honestly, the footage from this camera just looked beautiful. The colors were really vivid. I'm not adjusting anything in post for you guys. This is all just straight out of the box how it looks. It also has night owl vision, the f1.8 large aperture pulls in more light to ensure a well illuminated recording in darker situations this camera also features smart parking guardian mode enabled by ai motion detection with this advanced ai motion detection algorithm the a810 is able to identify suspicious human activities around the parked car and activates recording automatically. Kind of like how Teslas do if you get too close to them, the A810 has you covered as well. Built-in G sensors detects unusual forces during parking and also activates recordings when shaking or collisions are detected. And it will also save these emergency videos or other events in a separate file labeled event file. Lastly, we have the Omnicam. Like we said, this is the industry's first 360 degrees design camera. It's got two phase stepping motors, step up to a 340 degree swivel design with 140 degrees FOV feature to avoid any image distortions, resulting in the industry's first real 360 degree, no blind spot, full view dash cam, smoothly panning the lens around, you'll never miss any details of your journey. The image quality is extraordinary with its day and night optical performance. It's self-developed high quality image processing algorithm featured on top of 1080p full HD. If a car crash happens, it'll capture crystal clear emergency footage from just five seconds prior to during and 10 seconds after it happens. It's 60 FPS is designed for fast motion. Easily pick out scenery such as road signs, license plates, and other details more clearly and smoothly, even in fast moving cars. F1.5 large aperture enhances image quality in low light conditions. And it's equipped with Pure Cell Plus S HDR technology that delivers best in class low light performance. This helps enormously elevate video quality without blinding front car's license plates with strong headlights. It also has smart parking surveillance with AI powered detection. Stepping up to the 340 degree swivel design, flexible shooting takes advantage of comprehensive coverage around your car while it's parked. If you want interior shots or some particular angle shots outside the car, just adjust your preferred shooting direction so car robbery, window smash, vandalism, or parking collisions can be captured precisely. That's one thing that I really do like about this camera in particular is if someone breaks into your car and you have this camera, you can clearly see what they look like as it can easily swivel and just point at the cabin. It has AI motion detection, collision detection, and it has also time-lapse recording, all of which is impressive in the world's first 360 degree dash cam. So after a couple weeks of playing with all four dash cams from 70 My, I personally like the 4K one best. But that's just me. I like how clear and how just sharp the image quality is. But that's also because like I'm used to recording with a 4K camera for you guys. I'm also thinking as like a content creator to like get good footage for you guys. That's what I would want. But if I was putting something like in my daily or like my girl's Lexus, the A500S is a great option. I think having a rear facing camera is crucial just in case someone does smack you from behind and then peel off or something. It'd be a little bit more difficult to not only improve that, but to locate who did it then. The Omni camera is cool, but having a fixed camera that records 270 degrees around your car, I think is just the way to go. The Omni camera also can't capture the best footage since it's on the front windshield, of the back of the vehicle. And then the M300, although still a good entry level option, I just really think having two cameras, like I said, is crucial. But I can't think of a better gift for this holiday season or just buying one for yourself for the end of the year. 
Everyone wants to protect what they love. Everyone wants to make sure that what they have is protected. And a dash cam is a great way to ensure that. So if you guys are looking for a dash cam, hopefully one of these fits what you're trying to get. Go shop from 70 My. Click the link down below. Buy one for yourself. Buy one for one of your friends. They make great gifts. Click the link down below. Go pick one up now. Thank you, 70 My, for sponsoring this video. And thank you for the cameras. I'm going to use those. Anyways, guys, subscribe. And until next video, peace.